So today I was out recording the sunset again, and uh, I had no real hope of catching clouds behind the sun because there weren't any clouds, but I pray for the Creator to reveal something that will show me and all of us that the sun's not 93 million miles away, that the popular flat earth model isn't correct, and that we're in a simulation. So I want you to pay attention to that cell phone tower, and there's a couple of lights down in the right hand corner because I'm going to... I'm going to show you where those are. We're going to line up uh, the angle of the sunset and those locations right now. So here I am at good old timeanddate.com uh, looking at Austin, Texas, October 26th. And we go down here to the 26th and we can see that we have a sunset at 648 p.m. at 256 degrees. Now let's plot this out in Google Earth. And I'm going to show you where I was recording. Uh, this is a spot that I've recorded from before. It's this parking lot of a cafe. And I was in that second spot right there. So from here, we're going to pull this out 10 miles at an angle of 256 degrees. Right about there. I want you to pay attention that, so this is where the sun's setting over here. This is the Austin Bergstrom International Airport right here. So as we're watching this, here's the airport. Runways run pretty much north and south, and the planes were taking off to the south today. Uh, now there's a cell phone tower and some lights that you can see in the video. I'm going to show you where those are. As we zoom in here, there's a football field. So this is uh, the stadium lights that you can see uh, in the shot. And then if we go back here a little bit farther, get this out of the way. This is the cell tower that's uh, real predominant and you can see. So it lines right up in the shot. Well, here we go. Less than one minute into recording tonight, and check out how the plane is ascending. And it flies through the sun. Flying across the end of the Austin Bergstrom runway as it's climbing. Makes no sense at all. No. I was a little paralyzed. Uh, I didn't move to follow the plane right here. I stayed with the sun, but you'll see that it all works out in just a little bit. And here's round two. I'm letting this whole clip play. I'm going to uh, I'm going to break it down after this.
All right, so let's break this down a little bit further. I'm going to do some screen casting so I can do some uh, frame by frame type work. Uh, put some commentary on this. So let's get this rolling. All right, we're just going to take it through here real slowly. Those plumes coming off of the engines right there before it reaches the sun. That's sort of odd. And we got a shadow up in the clouds there. That's real interesting. That's coming out. We got those plumes coming off the engines. Look at how far they're reaching back. Some sparks. All right. We just gotta wait for it to come around again. You're gonna see. Remember where the uh, airport is here. So that plane was ascending. It's it's flying across the end of the runway. Um. Okay, so it's it's not a real airplane. There's something else going on. I think it's demonic. Okay, so we're going to be paying attention to where the tail is a bunch of times because it seems to flip around. So right now we've got the uh, tail in the back. So if you look at the angle of the plane, it's, it's going to be flying towards us right now, right? So let's start moving this. It should be flying towards us. Tail's in the back. Now it starts to blur out. Keep in mind, it's in manual focus right now, so it, it shouldn't have blurred out. It's blurry, blurry, blurry. That's, uh... Now it's starting to show up again. Whoa, which direction is that going now? <laughs> it was going towards us, then it went like back behind the sun. And all right, so it's flying away from us. All right, so as I'm zooming in, I am playing with the uh, manual focus, trying to get it as clear as possible. Now, QN Fee has some recent footage where you, you think the plane might be bur blurry, but it seems to go like semi-transparent, you know, a little Wonder Woman plane-ish. Now look at it at the back of the plane there. Look at those those couple lights. Plane seems to be semi-transparent. It's got those two little lights showing up. Tail still in the back here.
You see that light there? Keep in mind, this is the plane that just flew through the sun. So it got real blurry, and then now, where's the tail of the plane? Is the tail in the back, you know, like the far side now? Is it headed towards us? Look at where the tail is. I mean, it looks like it just flipped around and is coming towards us of where the tail is. You can see that the, the tail's not on the back of the plane anymore, right? Got some sparklies going on now. Tail's definitely not in the back of the plane anymore. Alright, this gets interesting. Look at the way this lights up. I'm gonna... So the tail seems to be at the far end of the plane now. And it lights up. Look at that. That's it's pretty intense. We got more sparklies all over the place. It's a little hard to follow. It'll come back in. Here it comes. Well, look at those lights on that, that left engine. See that? It's a pretty intense glare. Okay, how many engines are there now? Am I counting three? No, oh, no, just two. One came and went. All right. Now, after all that, looks like we got a tail on the back of the plane again. Did you see the shift? Let's... Let's see where that happened. So right around here. Ooh. Now all of a sudden we have a tail at the back of the plane again. Sparkly lights up front.
There you go. I'll let the rest of it run out. Sparkly lights. Some shimmering on the bottom. At least we got a tail at the back again. All right, and that's where I lost it. So clearly, the sun's not 93 million miles away. All right, that. Well, that's just simply obvious. We wouldn't see that plane flying through it if it was. Also, the popular flat Earth model with the uh, sun and moon doing circles, you know, they have it 3,000 miles up. We wouldn't be seeing this either. This is right down at the ground. You could see beforehand the uh, cell phone tower and the lights from the stadium. Very close, very local. The only way this is possible is as if we're in a simulation. I mean, maybe there's some, you know, totally unknown possibility, but it's the only one that makes sense right now. So I'll continue recording, and we'll continue breaking it down, and thanks for watching.